I'm Celia Slattery, and I'm introducing a show called First Ladies of Jazz and Pop. Well, you know, I've always sung music by singer-songwriters like Joni Mitchell and Carol King, and then of course I've studied the great jazz singers like Billie Holiday and Ella Fitzgerald. And as I started to learn more about these women, I began to understand the important contributions that they made, not only to our to music, but to our society as well. If I should take a notion to jump into the ocean, ain't nobody's business if I do. It was so hard choosing who to include because I had so many choices. But I focused on women who really changed something, whether in music or in society. And I started with the great blues singers of the turn of the 20th century. Lady sings the blues, she tells her side, nothing to hide. Once the world to know, she's never gonna sing. Ella Fitzgerald, I think, is one of our greatest jazz singers. And, you know, she pioneered a method of vocal improvisation, scat singing. But just as important, I think, is how she introduced so many people to the Great American Songbook. She released a popular series of albums showcasing songwriters like the Gershwins and Cole Porter. And, you know, unlike Bessie Smith and Billie Holiday, Ella really personified the joy and the fun in jazz. Before we know we will need each other, so we better call the calling of all. Let's call the whole thing all. In the 60s, girl groups like the Chantels and the Bobettes and the Ronettes and the Dixie Cups provided a voice for young teenage girls. And of course, Carol King wrote the hits for all of those groups. You know, I wanted to include Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow because it really reflected a totally new idea at the time, which was a young girl being sexually and emotionally free to choose. folk because it was so important to me growing up and I think in the 60s people were attracted to folk music because it was simple and authentic and kind of an alternative to all the mass culture that was being produced in the post-war boom years and it became the music of progressive politics. Folk music always seemed to glorify the underdogs. The mother's tale, your daughter. Joni Mitchell is one of the 20th century's greatest singer-songwriters, and she really wrote the soundtrack for women and relationships at a time when everything was changing and the roles, the traditional roles no longer held. And uh, she's influenced a whole new generation of songwriters as well. The show is continually evolving. I keep learning new things, and I'm getting some input from my audiences as well. I have an online survey that they can do, that they get to share who they think the most important women in music are. And luckily, I have a subject I could just keep going on forever.